Hi everyone, welcome back. So I'm really excited because Morphe just launched a new tinted moisturizer yesterday that I immediately kind of went out and picked up at my local Ulta. I had to do a return anyway, so I figured, well, might as well. And the sales associate was so nice to go into the back because they actually hadn't um, like put out the, like out on display yet because they were gonna do it overnight. Anyways, so this is what the packaging looks like. So this comes in quite a few shades. I'll put like however many shades they have up here on the screen. And then I chose the shade Tan Glow 7, which is a golden neutral undertone. And like I said, this is broad spectrum SPF 30. They just have like the typical drug facts on the back, but this is what it looks like in the tube. I really like the sleek minimal packaging. It honestly gives me uh, like Laura Mercier vibes. And then the cap reveals a pump, which we all know we love pump applicators. It makes it so much more easy to apply product. And these retail for $18 and you get one fluid ounce, which is pretty standard when it comes to like foundation based products like that. You can use the 350 off of 15 coupon. That's pretty common at Ulta. So I ended up paying like 15 ish for this. It says it's sheer buildable coverage. Oh, and it's made in the USA. So I wore it and I'll put like some like kind of clips of me on my Instagram stories. I wore it yesterday just kind of hanging out at the pool just by itself on top of like skincare and what have you. And I really liked it so far, but I just wanted to sit down and kind of do more of like a, I guess like a fuller face of makeup so that you can see like how it wears with other products and then also throughout the day. So I'll do a check-in later on just to let you know like how it looks, how it breaks down. For reference, I do have combination skin. It's a little bit sensitive and I do have like a touch of redness on my cheeks, but overall my skin looks okay, I think. I have a little bit of texture. And then also I get really tan. Like I think like my chest looks a little bit lighter, but my arms, I get really tan. So that's kind of why I look a little bit tanner with the product on. I really appreciate that they have more neutral undertones for the tinted moisturizer because I find that a lot of like foundations in general, they're either just a warm tone or a cool tone. And I'm really in between because the warm tones can just pull too orange on my skin. So I just really appreciate that Morphe offers the neutral tone. Yeah, if you've been curious, and I know I was as soon as I saw that they were announcing this, and tinted moisturizers are definitely super popular this summer. I think they're really easy to apply and yeah, I think this is gonna be one of those like really, really good ones. So keep on watching if you're curious to hear my thoughts and yeah. Okay, so my skin is prepped. All I have on is some eye serum and a moisturizer. Now I'm gonna go in with the new Morphe. It's their Glow Stunner Hydrating Tinted Moisturizer with SPF 30, broad spectrum. And I got the shade Tan Glow number seven. And honestly, Tango number seven and Tango number eight are very similar, and they're both uh, golden neutral undertones, which is what I am. But since I get pretty tan in the summer, you can tell. I went with the seven just because I can add bronzer and everything, because I think the eight would have been just a pinch too dark. So, like, they have, I think, a decent amount of shades. So, I'll show you what it looks like coming out of the pump. It's pretty, like, fluid, I would say. So I'll do two and I know when it comes to like sunscreen you need to use at least like two finger lengths but we're just going to start off with this much and I can just add more. But I like to apply it with a brush. This is the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. I do not like putting base products on with my fingers. I think it's too messy and then I think using a sponge just soaks up way too much product so. And I'm actually filming today just directly in front of a window. So I just want you guys to be able to see it in the full natural light. It's super glowy, as you can tell. I might go in with one more pump, just to make sure I get that SPF coverage. And yeah, I really like the pump applicator too. I think it's fairly buildable. I wouldn't say it's gonna give you full coverage because it is a tinted moisturizer, but for someone like myself, I tend to kind of not want to do full coverage just because I like my skin to be able to breathe and I like to, to be able to see my skin. So I'm just going to double check in a close up mirror. So now I'm actually going to powder the left side of my face. That way we can see how well the product sets on its own and then how it wears with powder and everything like that. 
Just using a big fluffy brush. But you can tell, I think you can tell that it kind of took down just a little bit of the shine, but not too much at all. Like it's definitely still very glowy. I'm gonna touch my face. Feels very slightly tacky. I don't see it really coming off on my fingers, which is really nice. Cause I know that's a thing with a lot of like really liquidy type of face products. What I might do is just use a clean kind of bigger brush and kind of like go over and smooth everything out. Just kind of gonna see if we can take away some of that like super harsh like blush. Although it's like, it's a look though. All right, and so just to recap, the left side of my face is the one that I powdered with some SETI powder. And then this side, I didn't set the tinted moisturizer with anything. That way we can see like how it truly wears throughout the day. But I'll do a check-in later. Right now it is, it's 12, 12. Oh, so I'll check in later. Um, I typically don't go to bed till like pretty late. So yeah, I'll check in throughout the day and let everyone see like how it wears and everything. So, but yeah, so this is what it looks like. Hi everyone, I'm checking in. Um, it is around 6.30 right now and like unplanned, Terry and I went to the gym and did like some treadmill running slash walking. And so I'm actually gonna hop in the shower in a bit, which means I'm gonna wash all this off too. So I won't be wearing it for, you know, like a full 10 plus hours, but <laughs> that was my dog. So I think it held up pretty well. I'm trying to see like if there's any like huge separation spots, maybe on my chin, like in this area. But I think it looks pretty good as far as like the setting powder side versus the non-setting powder side. I think honestly everything's pretty glowy. Blush is starting to like wear off, but you can still like see it on my face and everything. So I really, really like it so far. And this is only like, my second day wearing this, but I feel like this is gonna be a staple in my makeup routine, especially for the hot summer months where I don't really wanna wear a ton of products, you know, having a tinted moisturizer that has my SPF, I'm pretty sure you can also layer SPF under it. So I will also do that for, you know, days where I know for a fact I'll be like heavily out in the sun and everything. So I think this is amazing and you should definitely try it. And for, you know, $15, $18, depending if you use coupons or not, I think it's well worth it. So seal of approval on my end.